hi <coughs> i'm prasad i'm an advocate practicing in hyderabad today i'm going to share with you about a compromise decree which can be appealed now the general uh, understanding is once there is a compromise where could be the scope for appeal today i'm going to share with you the two types of compromise decrees which is one which is appealable the other one which is not appealable that is to say the appealable compromise decree is a compromise decree obtained by contest and the non appealable compromise decree is a compromise decree obtained with consent so try to understand the two types of compromise decrees compromise decree obtained by contest the compromise decree obtained by consent now the law pertaining to the compromise decree and the six supreme court judgments from which i have uh, search for this principles is in the description box i am not going to again describe the law in the video kindly check out the description box now first i will explain what is a compromise decree obtained by consent imagine there is a plaintiff and a defendant in a case and the plaintiff advanced a loan of around 10 lakhs to the defendant who is a partnership firm with four partners now when the case was pending plaintiff and defendant or the partners of the defendant firm entered into an agreement out outside the court by way of a compromise deed by way of a memorandum of compromise or a compromise deed one and the same now that compromise deed is presented in the court with a joint petition filed by all the four partners of the defendant firm along with the plaintiff a joint petition must be filed along with the memorandum of compromise now court records the terms and conditions of the memorandum of compromise and then passes a decree then it is a compromise decree with consent if two partners came to the court and two partners do not come to the court imagine an another case an another illustration where the plaintiff and there are four defendants and two defendants came to the court and two defendants are set to ex parte in such kind of circumstances also the plaintiff can enter a compromise with consent pertaining to the facts of the only two defendants who are in the court if the plaintiff enters an agreement if the plaintiff performs a compromise pertaining to all the four defendants then that compromise decree can be questioned by the other two defendants who are not available in the court who are set to ex parte so the care should be taken by the plaintiff to see that compromise with consent is entered only with the defendants who are available in the court and one more condition defendants must be physically present in the court and sign in front of the judge though advocate signatures are sufficient to enter a compromise decree compromise uh, to uh, get a compromise decree from the court parties must be present because tomorrow parties may come and say that i have not given adequate instructions though supreme court have already settled the law pertaining to this matter by saying that if the parties are not coming to the court and advocate is authorized to come to the court and perform the compromise then that is a valid compromise but needless to say precautionary measure all the parties who are present in the court who are present in the suit who are still contesting the suit must be available in the court with physically their presence in the court is mandatory along with their counsels in such such circumstances only the compromise decree is obtained by consent so this is the precaution that must be taken joint petition must be filed along with the memorandum of compromise and all the parties must be present if any party is not present then the part of the case pertaining to that party which is not present must not be entered in the compromise date therefore tomorrow if at all he comes and questions the compromise decree he could he could question he could question only to the extent of his part but not to the part which is already settled so once this type of procedure is adopted in the court then the compromise decree is safe it is obtained with consent it cannot be appealed if it all it has to be questioned it can be questioned in the same court but if the precautions which i informed you right now are taken then even that cannot be even done by any party who is trying to be smart before the court now coming to the compromise decree obtained by contest now can a compromise decree can be obtained by contest yes if one party proposes a compromise 
other party opposes the compromise but court decides that there is an element of compromise between the parties then court can pass a compromise decree and if this compromise decree is passed this is not this is a compromise decree passed by the court by contest not by consent so therefore that can be appealable as a regular appeal so hope you understand the difference and the illustration for compromise decree passed with contest could be that there, there can be out of the court settlement between the plaintiff and the defendant but the defendant repudiates the contract defendant will not may, may not accept that uh, settlement in such kind of circumstances that settlement deed if it is brought by the defendant to the court and submits to the court with a petition praying that there is an element of compromise there was an element of compromise out of the court then court asks a counter from the plaintiff or the party who is opposing the compromise and in the circumstances court decides that there is a compromise there was a compromise outside the court and then court passed a decree that is a compromise decree with contest which can be appealable the law the supreme court judgments are very clear about that generally i only refer to one supreme court judgment here i am referring to six supreme court judgments you can refer them you can read them if you have patience or else uh, you can just follow this video one the second point is the law pertaining to anyhow i have given in the description box but once again i am reiterating the law pertaining to this compromise decree with consent and with without consent is from order 23 rule 3 rule 3a read with section 96 sub clause 1 and sub clause 3 read with section 104 read with order 43 rule 1a sub rule 2 anyhow i have given the law in the description box thank you thanks for watching bye bye if you have any doubts kindly ask in the comment section